We start with the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves. Could you cough for me, please? <coughs> An effective cough requires vagus nerve control of the vocal cords, as does producing a note. Open your mouth for me, please, and say ah. Uh... Look at the movements of the palate and uvula uh... using a torch. If the palate is weak, you may be able to make air escape through the nose. You blow out your cheeks for me, please. I'm just going to try and squeeze them in. Note the left hand and the attentive ear. Also consider using the water swallow test before moving on to the accessory nerve. Begin by inspecting and then palpating the sternocleidomastoid muscles, looking for wasting or hypertrophy. And can you look over your right shoulder for me, please? And over your left shoulder. Carefully resisting the movement with your hand. And swing your legs over the side of the bed. From behind the patient, inspect and palpate the trapezius muscle, looking for wasting or asymmetry. I'm now going to feel your shoulders. Shrug your shoulders up and stop me from pushing them down. Again, testing power against resistance. And pop your legs back up. Next, we examine the hypoglossal, or twelfth, cranial nerve. Can you just open your mouth for me, please? Look at the tongue at rest for wasting, fasciculation, or involuntary movement. Use a torch if necessary. And stick your tongue out. Look for deviation or involuntary movement. And move it from side to side. Demonstrating active movements. Pop your tongue back in and press it against your cheek. Stop me from pushing it in. To test power in the tongue muscle. And the same on the other side. Then test lingual speech. And now say yellow lorry. Yellow lorry. The swallow test is also relevant.